So if you're here at the beginning, you heard uh, Chris Miller play some saxophone. He'll probably play some more sax, and he, depending on what he brings up, he's bringing up a dobro and a banjo. No banjo, but oh, you have something else you didn't have last night, it looks like. So we got Chris Miller, uh, it's Void in Vermont. Is that true, Chris? Okay. Well, you got your band. My name's Chris Miller. Uh, I mostly play Cajun music with a band called The Revelers. And uh, I feel like because we're here at a thing, I should mention that we were nominated for a Grammy last year, and that was really cool. So since I did that, I thought, now I just want to retire and play weird, weird music. So we're going to do some of that tonight. And I got some of my favorite musicians joining me tonight. We're going to start off with uh, this guy is in an incredible duo called Hoot and Holler. His name's Mark Kiliansky, and we're gonna do one of his songs right now. And uh, this guy just fell out of the blue tonight, and I'm so honored to play with him for the first time. His name's John Mylander. He's at the, the conference with uh, Joe K. Walsh, who's also incredible. All right, this is a country song in the style of Hank Williams. It's called uh, Fall in Love Again.
on uh, johnswilander.com. We're going to do a couple duo numbers here. And uh, I met Mark at the uh, Black Pot Festival in Louisiana, which yeah, I am very lucky to be uh, a co promoter of. And uh, he has, like I said, an incredible duo called Hoot and Holler. And uh, they do some great original songs. We're going to do one of those now. Yes, um, folk music is a great style of music. Um, I used to play jazz music, and before that I played rock music, and I kind of settled on folk music because I think it relates to people a lot. And uh, But something I think is missing is you got you got all the old guys like Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger and Bob Dylan, and they would talk about the things that were going on in the world at the time, and I'm not finding a lot of that in folk music, so I'm trying to bring it. And so this is a song I wrote about some of the policies that um, our government implements overseas. And if you listen to the lyrics really hard, and if you're kind of smart, you'll figure out what it's about. Yeah. It's called The Blue Sky Ain't No Friend of Mine. Oh, and it's going to be on the new Ho Hoot and Holler record, available February 1st, hootandhollermusic.com. Hoot and Holler. <laughs> I'm 
pray that the sun never shines. If the sky becomes clear, for my life I will fear. The blue sky ain't no friend of mine. Contra Dance Band, and uh, so we're going to do one of those songs right now, Sans Fiddle, and hopefully make it work okay. Yeah, we actually uh, learned this one, it's an original from the great Larry Unger, and uh, he's still out and playing today, he writes a lot of great tunes. And, um, I play a lot for Contra Dance with uh, a band called Great Bear and some other bands, and Mark hasn't done that too much, but uh, he came up to my place in Vermont this week, and I gave him a crash course in, in the uh, contra dance etiquette. And uh, we even took him on a field trip to a dance. <laughs> so tomorrow night's the final exam, and we're going to play the uh, New York City contra dance tomorrow night. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I would say the last two tunes we're going to do here real quick are both examples of what you might find at a contra dance. And if you don't know about it, it's like it's a lot like square dancing, except the dancers are in long lines across one another. It's sort of a New England tradition and it blends a lot of great music, New England tunes and Southern old time and Irish and Quebecois. And uh, it's a really cool living American tradition that is thriving and uh, you can actually make a living doing it, believe it or not. Yeah. So this is called... Uh, Door County number two. I don't know what Door County number one sounds like, <laughs> but it can't be as good as this one. No. <laughs>
playing with Lord Cortez of the Dance Cards later, and she also played with one of my heroes, Daryl Anger. Uh, tonight, Daryl Anger in Republic of Strings. And Jenna, I haven't told you this, I wanted to wait until we were in public, but uh, <laughs> seeing, seeing one of my heroes up there with like one of my friends and somebody I was about to play with tonight was like too much. I had to leave the room. <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna do a set of Irish tunes. Thanks to Ken and uh, thanks to everybody. This has been really fun. I have uh, lots of CDs. I have Reveler CDs. I have my solo Dobro CD that I've, I have like four left. I'm not gonna make any more. If you want one, just come talk to me back at the bar. Oh, let's places. Cool. You should be in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 